There are many differences between monocots and dicots, but uh, the easiest way to uh, look at these two types of plants is to first see that monocots has M-O-N-O -O in the beginning and dicot has D-I. Mono stands for one, dicot stands for two. And this major uh, kind of distinguishing factor deals with the cotyledons. And the monocot has only one, while the dicot will have two. And these cotyledons, these are the um, uh, the embryonic leaves. Uh, another main difference that uh, you'll see is that in monocots, the the veins on the leaves they actually run parallel, versus the veins on a dicot, which seems more like a net, kind of a netting, kind of a crisscross. Uh, the other factor is that monocots, uh, their flower parts are in multiples of threes while dicots have flower parts in multiples of fours and fives. As you can see here, I've driven, uh, I've drawn uh, six petals here, six pink petals, and that's a multiple of three, therefore it would be a monocot. If we, if we check the petal on this flower over here, you'd see that there's one, two, three, four, and that'd be a multiple of four, therefore it was a dicot. Uh, you can also look at the number of pollen pores. Uh, you know, there's only multiples of one, or one in monocots and three in dicots. Uh, as far as the stem is concerned, there's no pith in the monocots, but you know there's a pith in dicots, and the root system is also different. Uh, dicots are, are famous for the tap root, and they, uh, uh, a quintessential kind of uh, example that we have here is the carrot, which is just kind of a single um, kind of a single root versus a, a fibrous root in the uh, the monocot.